What is up everyone? This is the One Stop Vids. I'm Professor Jack, he's the Dr. Dinosaur, and today our deck tech is on Blood Rush. This is a deck that I honestly kind of made by throwing two uh, pre-made together. I had nose piercing. It actually works pretty well for me, and it was pretty cheap. I think I've paid... Some, Monies! I think I did like 30 bucks to do the whole entire deck, including my add-ins of pretty much Lightning Bolt. But yeah, we're going to get to that deck tech right about Meow. So this is the deck tech. Um, I'm going to start off with lands. 8 forest and 8 mountains. I guess you can do 7 and 9, but I didn't really see any issue with it so far. Nah, I would do 7 forests and I would do 3 stomping grounds. If you can afford it. Um, Rogue Passage. Target okay. creature can't be blocked. It does its job when it has to. Uh, Rootbound Craig. Because Rootbound Craig is kind of cheap right now. Stomping Ground. It came in the deck. So it was kind of fun. I actually paid more. I would have paid more for a single Stomping Ground than with the deck itself. Rootbound Crag is also unaffected by the Stomping Ground because that is a no. mountain forest. It's affected. It's not unaffected. So they have symmetry. Yeah. Of synergy. Uh, and since I'm playing a Girl Charm, you know, I can if they're playing a lot of creatures, I can stop them from blocking or I can kill the flying creatures or whatever gives I really need. Gives you options. Yeah. It's nice. Lightning Bolt, because Lightning Bolt's one of my favorite cards of magic. Creatures. Burning Tree Emissary makes this deck go nuts. It's fun when you can play three or four of her on turn two. She's and a it, free cast. Yeah. It's awesome. Followed up, I have a Dryer Militant. If you're playing against someone who plays Graveyard Shenanigans, this shuts down their use of spells. So, Snapcast a Mage. Is useless against her, more or less. She's just super efficient for a turn one, two, one, two. Yeah, that's true too. Uh, Gore Clan Rampager. You're not gonna play him. Uh, he has a four, four trample for four, so he's pretty decent. You're gonna play him for his blood rush. Give me a creature four, four, or trample. Org uh, Battle Driver. He gives your creature haste and plus two, plus oh when they enter the battlefield. So he's kind of there to make things speed up fast. Uh, prior Wild Shaman. He's just a continuous use. You kill him off, bring him back. You kill him off, bring him back. He's pretty good uh, mid to late game. Rakdos Crackler. Another good turn one option. Turn one, he's a 2-2. Two, two. You're not going to block with this deck. You're going to just go in all the time and swing face. So just unleash him right from when you get him. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna skip over her real quick. Slaughterhorn, plus three, plus two, or three, two creature for two, three. Either or is a good use. Uh, Wild Beastmaster, if you get her, you want to pump her up as much as you can and swing in with everything, because old creatures get plus X, plus X, where X is her power. She's She makes the deck go pretty fast, too. Zata Druid. It originally had a uh, Elvish Mystic, I think it was. You know, the, the Mana Dork. But this one costs more more, but it's also the one pinger with the additional land, which does speed up your game. Now, Rebel Belt Raiders is the card that makes this deck just stupid. I, I want to make a deck based around her, which would be a green-red stompy thing eventually but whenever she attacks uh you put a 1-1 counter on her for each attacking creature you control including her so say turn four you have four creatures on the field you swing out she's now seven seven and they counter so they stay she gets big really quickly um let's see this is 96% competitive. The curve's pretty balanced, I say. Again, like 65 bucks, I think it would be. Give or take. Maybe 70. 
it's a really really fun deck to play the weaknesses are like I guess life gain and control but besides yeah, that it's, it's so quick I don't see how control can really get too much of a beat on it I mean I have lost a few games with this but not too too many but it is a really fun deck So that was my Blood Rush deck that I really just made because I bought the pre-made so cheap. Um, it's again, it's really fun. It's really fast. It's, again, seventy-five bucks unless you can find the pre-mades and you have the lightning bolts and a few other small things. And then it costs like forty bucks to complete it. I believe they're the 2014 core event decks. Which right now they sell for eleven to fifteen bucks on eBay and Amazon. So yeah, Are you okay? Yeah, I was just noticing how unenthused you sounded about the deck, and then between almost every other word you want and um uh and um uh I built this and um uh I did this because it's cheap and um uh well it's... you're not very good at selling your own decks. I don't know. It was one of those decks that was just kind of made to be a fun deck and it worked out really good how would you sell it i don't know it's just like how you were explaining it you made it sound like um this is my deck um don't beat me up but it's really cool i don't know like you sound like you were you're were afraid to tell it off i like this deck i just it's again one of those decks i made just to be a fun deck and it worked out Way too good. I don't know. In the comments, everyone is Dr. Dinosaur just being a complete doctor jerk? Or did, did he sound like he wasn't impressed with the deck? He was like an and um ah, I swear, between every other word, and then like half his excuses for building it was because it was cheap and didn't cost me anything. But again, it was a. It was a made for fun deck. It was made to bring out. Like, I'm all about budget decks and stuff and having fun with them, and sometimes I think budget decks are way more fun than playing expensive, really good decks. Just, you sold the deck like it was a chore to you. I don't know. Because I also haven't really played the deck in like three weeks, so I don't really remember every card in it. So I had to read. But yeah, I made it literally to play with our friends who play slow and don't really understand the game. And then I started noticing it was just killing them back and forth. So I'm like, okay, let me try it with some of my better friends. If, if, if five of you agree with me, we'll reread the deck and I'll do it in an epic deck reading kind of fashion. Okay. And we'll literally do the same video, but I will read it. Fair enough. And I think it'll sound way more entertaining. Fair enough. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have been great. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Leave those comments.